Hello, my name is Omar Mitra, and this is my art critique video analysis. The first artwork that I will be talking about today comes from a French painter named William Begreau that specializes in mythical themes in his work and gives them a contemporary twist. It has been estimated that Begreau has created over 800 pieces of art, but many have been lost or forgotten. The art piece that I will be talking about today is called Aristides Pursued by the Furies. This piece of art is held in the Chrysler Museum of Art in Norfolk, Virginia. This artwork is based on the Greek story of Aristides, who killed his mother in an effort to get revenge for his father's death and was then pursued by the Furies as a result. In this painting, Aristides, the man, is depicted fleeing from three women, the Furies, while covering his ears so he won't hear the cries of his mother, who he had just killed. His mother is depicted just to the left of him, with a dagger protruding from her chest and blood dripping down her white dress, to represent how innocence is being buried under violence. His expression is filled with the utter terror and regret. As seen in the painting, Aristides is the main subject, mainly due to the fact that the lighting appears to have shined on him the brightest, and whose feet are the only ones actually on the ground, signifying that he's the only one rooted in reality. In contrast to Aristides, his mother and the Furies appear to have a fading quality, making them less distinct. It is clear from the blacked out background that he is being followed or surrounded by nothingness or a sense of emptiness. It can be inferred that the mother and the Furies aren't actually there chasing him due to the lighting not being as clear on them. It may all well be inside Aristides' head. Whereas the Furies aren't actually pursuing him, it's his guilt that is following him around. The image of the Furies pointing at his mother with the knife sticking out of her chest is something he won't be able to escape from his mind. As Aristides flees from the Furies, a white robe seems to be falling off of him. In art, white is normally depicted as a sense of innocence, goodness, or purity. So with the robe falling off of him, it can be seen as the purity that was once inside of him has left. The red robe that is wrapped around his mother is a warning that you could still be in danger or face violence even when in the presence of a loved one. While the Furies have their breasts exposed and out, almost as a sense of pride, Aristides' masculine half is covered by the white robe, almost as a sense of embarrassment or shame. The second piece of art that I would like to discuss is by an Italian painter named Petro Novelli, titled David with the Head of Goliath, that was produced in 1630s and is now housed in the J. Paul Getty Museum in Los Angeles, California. An influential painter in the 1600s, Petro Novelli specialized in painting religious themes, this artwork is an interpretation of a well-known biblical tale of David and Goliath, an ordinary man set to face off against a giant in battle to the death and ultimately prevails using just a sling and a stone that he acquired from the riverbed. But in this painting, instead of a sling and a rock, a long broad sword is depicted in the possession of David in the image. The head of Goliath appears to be perched onto a drawer almost like a prize, a trophy if you will, from the battle. Although the blade of the sword is not coated in blood, it is draped in a red fabric, maybe to represent the bloodshed that surrounds it. When discussing the story of David and Goliath, one always imagines the battle taking place at the Colosseum, with hundreds or even thousands of spectators keeping an eye on the action. But in this painting, there is no Colosseum, and said there's just a black background, perhaps to represent David's current state of mind. David's hair is also black almost to match the background and is almost purposely blended into it, giving the impression that David has lost his head and his mind. The fact that his hand is not firmly grasping the sword's handle suggests that he's not terrified, despite the fact of looking into the distance over his shoulder, which is normally a common indicator of anxiety. Instead, it almost appears that he's waiting for somebody or something to approach him. The fact that David has a black robe, that is also not a mistake. The black robe covers just half of his body, suggesting that a portion of him has vanished or has been lost. Additionally, the fact that there is some white showing from the robe's interior may indicate that David is suffering the consequences from having defeated Goliath. 